Hello and welcome back to another epic adventure at Weaver Stonehouse Farms. And today, it's a pretty simple request from uh, one of my newest subscribers, actually 502, and I think it's, it's actually Matt. Correctly. He wanted to know, how do I have the hydraulics set up on my International 444 on the tractor? Um, I, I will forewarn you of this. Trying to operate the rear lift and the front lift at the same time, really not enough pressure to do it well. You'll get some lift out of one or the other, but you really won't get your goal accomplished. So you just wait. You do your one and then you do your other, right? I mean, that's, it works that way. So let's take a look at this. So let's start uh, over here at the pumps. So you know what you're looking at, okay? So let's, let's go down in here underneath the distributor. So this line right here, okay, this is uh, this top line. This is the suction line coming out of the pump. So you can see that, so you can easily identify it. It has a, it's with a hose clamp here. You're not gonna have a hose clamp on a pressure line. It's just not gonna hold the pressure, okay? So the other line, which is up here, you can see the fitting. So that is a hydraulic hose fitting underneath on the bottom. It comes out over here. So that's a factory hose, okay? And it comes over here to the distribution block. That's what I'm calling it. Could have a different name. Now, there's a cap on here. That typically would have had a line from here then running over and into here to go ahead and pressurize my uh, rear cylinder. And then I have a pressure line coming off underneath. So let me get in here. So on this way back fitting, back in here on the corner of that block. Okay, so there's a pressure line coming out here that goes right into the inlet okay and you can see it says in so that's the inlet to this uh con two lever control system okay so with that inlet here now this is a line for excess pressure coming out so all they did here was run a line over to allow excess pressure to go back I don't know whether it's good or not, but it's been there since I bought the tractor and it works, so I kind of leave it alone. Then there is this line, okay? So this is a pressure line, smaller. Let's follow it down. And you can see it's down here, down here. And that line goes over and it feeds into my rear hydraulic circuit. Now, every once and again, when I'm lifting with the rear lift, I get some pulsing and I get some hopping. And it's probably because I'm losing pressure out of here rather than having it come off of here and go back to here. Um, but that's okay. It's worked for this many years this way. The other thing that we did with ours is I had, uh, this is obviously for the cylinders on the front. Okay. So this is the drive up one way, drive down the other way. So up, down with it. Um, yeah, there's. This one right here is up down on the bucket. This one is, this is, this is dump the bucket, lift the bucket, or whichever way I put the hoses. And this is lift the whole bucket assembly, drop the whole bucket assembly, or whichever way you pipe the hoses, right? So I can see there's a pressure line coming here. It goes down here. And these are all three eighths, which work just fine. It hits the bottom of the cylinder. And there's a line piped in on a T-fitting, and it crosses over, and it hits a cylinder at the same place on the other side. So it's identical on the other side, okay? Let's see this line right here uh, coming out for this number one cylinder. This is for the, the main here to lift it. So that comes out of here, goes right down here and it comes down and hits this cylinder right here. And again, there's a 3 8 T, runs over, goes the other side, and you can see it goes this, goes up to the top of the cylinder. So you've got your drive up, drive down on the hydraulics. So that's from this side. <clears throat> this one uh, I made unique because I started adding equipment to the farm that I needed rear outlets on the tractor, which, well, I don't, have there's none here so in simplistic fashion 
I went ahead and piped in quick connects here and then I bought longer hoses back when hoses were cheap and I run longer hoses back over to my equipment whatever I'm running back here like using the quick connects from Pioneer that have that little nipple here. that stick out on the end of the connection Let's, rather so than the ball right here, to relieve a little bit of pressure. Right makes it easier to get them in and out. Uh, it'll, it'll run more pressure because I had a problem with my one, my one line that was on this bucket to begin with. So that half inch line that I ran, let's see here, and there's my hose. And that goes to the bottom of that cylinder or the top, whichever way you want to look at it. And then this other one, again, for this control right here, goes down, hits the uh, <coughs> inside of this. There's a factory hard line here, and you can see the old one. And that goes right here to hit the cylinder here. And that's how that drives up and down. So those two right there on that cylinder, they end up coming right here it, i know it looks complex but it's really not when you break it down like that so i hope that helped you understand uh, how our hydraulics on our tractor are used um, and how i made it kind of sort of multi-purpose for what we needed all right well thanks for uh watching and subscribe and like and follow along at weaver stonehouse farms and we'll see you next time on the farm